Breaking news Senate passes Electoral Act Amendment Bill, plus, fight breaks out as out of rep as lawmaker debates electronic transmission of results. Plus, federal government declared Tuesday, Wednesday as public holidays. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you. Depending on the location you're watching us from, a very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update, your WhatsApp channel where you get the latest and the best news all around the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video, do take a step further, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you could be the first to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's go straight up to the main news. The Senate on Thursday approved the conditional electronic transmission of election results in the country. This came after the upper legislative chamber was thrown into disorder as the lawmaker contested the amendment of section 52 subsection 5 of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The state president, Ahmed Lawa, was unable to bring the lawmaker back to order, forcing the Senate to go into a closed door section. At the end of the closed door section, the Senate Minority Leader, Yanaya Abaribe, called for voting in a bid to challenge the Senate President ruling on Clause 52, Subsection 3 on electronic transmission of election results. Abaribe said he wants Nigeria to know who is voting for who. The lawmaker voted along party line over the controversial section. At the end of the voting, 28 senators, mostly from the People's Democratic Party PDP, voted for the original amendment in the report why 52 all progressive congress apc lawmaker voted for the amendment as proposed by senator sabi abdullahi the development means that the senator has given the independent national electoral commission INEC the go ahead to adopt electronic transmission of electoral results provided the national network coverage is certified adequate by the Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, and approved by the National Assembly. The motion on the new amendment, which was proposed by Senator Abdullahi and seconded by the chairman of Senate Committee on the Nigeria Army, Senator Ali Ndume, provided that the Independent National Electoral Commission may consider electronic transmission so far the national network coverage is formally declared adequate by NCC and approved by the National Assembly. Meanwhile, a fight broke out today at the House of Representatives as lawmaker debates over the Electoral Act Amendment Bill with a major focus on Section 52, Subsection 3, which deals with electronic transmission of poor results. The new amendment provides that the Independent National Electoral Commission may consider electronic transmission so far as the national network coverage is um, adjourned to be adequate and secured by the Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, and approved by the National Assembly. At first, all seems well as plenary got on the way with deliberations on the matters. However, things began to fall apart after lawmakers voted orally and the Deputy Speaker Idris Wasu resounded the gavel ruling against electronic transmission of results despite a resounding chorus in support of e-transmission. The House became rowdy as many Congress frowned at the Deputy Speaker's action with some asking that a clear line of demarcation be drawn. When the House eventually came to order, deliberations continued on the subject and the lawmaker resolved 
to vote again regarding the matter. Another round of votes ends and again the Deputy Speaker, despite a resounding vote in favour of an amendment for manual and electronic transmission of results, ruled against the eyes, sending the House into yet another frenzy. This time, it proved almost impossible for the House to be called to order, but decorum returned after a long while. All was far from over after the House was brought to decorum a second time, even as a motion to suspend consideration and revert to plenary was moved, seconded but kicked against by members of the Green Chambers. The House of Representatives eventually reverted to plenary, but in reporting progress, the Deputy Speaker stated that the controversial clause 52 has been considered and approved, but some lawmakers insisted that this is not the case. It was at this time that yet another heated round of argument rocked the floor of the Allot Chamber with two lawmakers, Ifain Momad and Shehu Koko, getting involved in an heated exchange of words. Other lawmakers joined the fray why some other honorable colleagues went a great length to restrain those gunning for each other's neck. This forced the Speaker of the House, Mr. Femi Bajemila, to take back his seat as chair of the House and move that the section be adjourned. With the Speaker's notion seconded, the section was adjourned till Friday, 10 a.m. to commence from Clause 52 with the Independent National Electoral Commission chairman and his NCC counterpart in attendance. Meanwhile, the federal government has declared Tuesday, 20th July and Wednesday, July 21st, 2021 as public holiday to mark this year's in Air Kabil celebration. The Minister of Interior, Ugbemi Roof, Arik Beshola made a declaration on behalf of the federal government. He congratulated all Muslim faithful and Nigerians at home and in the diaspora on the celebration. I call on Muslims to continue to imbibe the spirit of love, peace, kindness and sacrifice as exemplified by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him, and to also use the period to pray for peace unity, prosperity, and the stability of the country, considering the challenges of insecurity we face at the moment. This mainly are bandits in the northwest and north central, insurgents in the northeast, kidnappers, arm robber, ethnic agitators, and sundry criminal in other parts of the country, Arib Shola said. The minister, in a statement signed by the permanent secretary of the ministry, Dr. Shaibu Begore assured that the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari is committed to the security of life and property of every Nigerian and empowering the citizens for successful living. The provision of social investment programs and adequate security in the schools, especially with the spat of innocent school children being targets of kidnapping. Arib Shola why wishing Muslim faithful a happy Eid Kabir celebration advise all Nigerians to take responsibility by reporting any suspicious individuals and criminal activities to the law enforcement agency, especially during this festival. He also called on all Nigerians to observe all COVID-19 protocol, particularly the non-pharmaceutical measures, wearing face masks and arm washing and social distancing designed to keep transmission of the disease at bay. We must all take responsibility for containment of the pandemic during this year's festival, he said. So we have seen that uh, there's every fight in the House of Representatives over the amendment um, electoral bill that was supposed to be passed for the INEC to be able to choose whether to transmit election results online from the polling unit or not. Also, we saw that though the Senate President Amin Lawa was unable to bring the lawmaker back to order, forcing the Senate to go into a closed-door section. And 
The same thing happened in the House of Representatives when the lawmakers, um, some of them burst into um, arguments and almost engaged in a um, serious fight and they couldn't conclude as the meeting was adjourned to Friday by 10 a.m. in the morning and with the INEC chairman and the NCC chairman to be present in that meeting, we hope to get a final conclusion on the bill. We also saw that the federal government has declared Tuesday 20th and Wednesday 21st, 2021 as public holiday to mark the celebration of the Eid Kabi celebration of the Muslims. The federal government also urged the Muslim faithful to use this opportunity to pray for Nigeria. Now guys, consigning the amendments electoral bill, what are your take? What do you think of the crisis that is lingering in the House of Representatives and also in the National Assembly by the Senate President and the other lawmakers? Do you think they should agree or do you think that they should disagree with the bill? Please drop your comment in the comment section below and do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Please follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. I am Victor Obrichi reporting for DJ MTV News. DJ MTV DJ MTV DJ MTV DJ MTV